All right, I kind of felt left out a little bit here with all the replanting going on here on YouTube until I came across what I came across today. I was just checking cornfields and whatever. And I've got some skips to uh, repair here. So Sarah and Andrew, they're going to give me a hand. I've got a one row uh, little corn planter right there. We've got a shovel, some rakes, and a couple of hoes there. And we're going to have to patch in some skips that I have. And it's all, what, operator error, ain't it? So, um, we're going to get going here. We've got to scratch up the ground a little bit, do a little bit of tillage work. And then we'll get patching things in. We'll throw the drone up in a little while. I'll show you what I'm patching in. So, it's... Um, yeah, it's just one of them things that you have to do from time to time, right, Bob? At least we don't have to drag the corn planter through all the corn and knock it all down and whatever. So we, uh, we're using the gator. That straddles two rows decently. And um, we're going to get going here. So I got that uh, little corn planter there. Actually, it plants multiple seeds. Anything from sunflowers to pumpkins and cucumbers has got, like, well, I could show you. I got the I have the corn disc in it now and then it came with a bunch of discs. various other discs here I've got um, well this top one is a um, beet uh, let's see we've got a beet disc uh, small peas baby lima beans This one is for uh, lettuce, turnips, carrots, cabbage, onions, and tomato. And this one is uh, asparagus and spinach. So we're gonna get started here. I've got some Hubner seed in the in the bag. There we've got to get our depth set on that um, little cedar, and then it's also got a marker wheel. Um, so you can flip that over and we'll demonstrate it here in a second but um, you can flip you can move your disc out and get your proper row spacing there so hopefully it'll do 30 inch rows yeah let's see let me grab a tape measure make sure that'll do 30 inch rows did I even bring a tape measure there's one in the truck yeah, I think I left it in the truck damn it well, what we can do is set it down, go like this, here. We seem to have forgotten our, t our tape measure, so we can set it here like that, keep it from tipping over. Set it like that, and then, well, it looks like it's not going to quite do 30 inch rows because we are on 30 inch spacing there, and it looks like we'd have to have our disc way out uh, to the end. But it'll get damn close anyways. Well, let's get started here. Uh, like I said, I'll throw the drone up in a minute. And we can see what we got going on. Alright, we're right in the particular part of the field where we have some skips. Now, I'm just going to kind of pan around here. Uh, you might be able to tell uh, the areas that need to be patched in here, but once we put the drone up in the air, you'll get more of an idea of what we have going on. So we've got a little bit of a operator error here, if you will. So, um, but we're going to fix it. It's going to be all right. It's um, it's kind of all right the way it is, but um, we're just going to patch it all in so it looks real nice. So this little one row uh, planter that I've got here that we're gonna patch things in with, it's actually got the uh, markings on the, the depth that you can set the seed in. I've got it set at a little more than an inch and a half. It's between an inch and a half and an inch and five eighths. So roughly, or an inch and three quarter rather. So roughly, about an inch and five eighths. Uh, we planted all our corn at two inches, but um, being that we're a couple weeks behind here, we need this corn to catch up to um, the current growth of this corn here. Now, um, where we're planting this, if it was if it was like 
inside um, it, it's gonna be outside of the other rows so it should catch up it's just gonna be a little behind it's gonna probably be dwarfed because of the canopy of the the corn that's already existing here um, but we're just gonna see how it goes um, I'm, I'm a little late here getting in the, in the replanting this you know we're at about eight inches uh, with this corn I think it was two weeks ago today or three weeks ago today that I planted this so let's dump some seed in we use that little four toothed uh, hole there to scratch in where we're gonna patch in and uh, this thing it, it doesn't work on hard ground like right now it won't it's not a no-till planter is it bub no no, yeah. no. <laughs> all right let's get some seed in there okay we are planting a 92 day corn and then of course you can't put too many seeds in here probably good that's good there all right now pull back on your handle all right pull, pull way back and get it set up to where you're gonna Go with it. Here, let's put up there. <laughs> That's so good. Mm -hmm. Either that or we pull it. Did, did you do that one? The short one? Okay, so we got the drone up in the air as you can see here. Um, this tractor that we got on this platter doesn't have enough power, so we're gonna have to pull. <laughs> we're gonna have to pull this platter too. We got a 4020 on a 16 row. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got to the end of that row. Alright, now we gotta go over. We've got this one and this one done. We gotta do this one. Did we do this one? Yeah. Yeah. You've done three. <laughs> Alright, we did three rows already. So we're going to get set up on this. Uh, back up. Back up to that other row there. Alright, so we did go through with this four tooth guy here. We've got a, a nice uh, soft seed bed, but this little planter is designed for you know, a rototilled uh, seed bed is what it's designed for. This is almost a no-till environment here. We, we, well, yeah, we're off a little bit on that row, bud. Oh well. We're not using our marker. What we're using is the marks that the planter made. Yeah, make sure you keep that front down. Okay, that's it for that one. <clears throat> 
All right. So we've got patched in um, right there, and then we'll we'll back up out of the way, and we'll kind of show you what we're patching in here, um, just so you can kind of see a visual of what we have going on. We've got a little bit of repair work to do here. Not much. I mean, uh, I didn't screw up too bad. Whoops. So we'll just kind of fly down the line here. So we've got a little repair work to do where we're at. And then uh, right next to uh, what we have there. So... Um, yeah, so we're going to continue doing what we have to do here and um, get on out of here. We're only like 212 feet off the ground. I don't even see it, do you? Well, we got the replanting all done and we're gonna run over and check on Jared he's actually tending some hay out right now that we're gonna bail here later on this week we do have a small piece that we're gonna chop here as well and then that is gonna do it for first cut and chopping we've got one piece on a, on the same farm that he's tending on that there's quite a bit of alfalfa in it and we figured we would chop that and the rest of it's all pretty grassy. We're going to bail the rest of it. So he's got everything tedded but this one last piece here that he's going to be working on. And we're probably going to have to ted everything again here tomorrow. So we will be pulling into the field here in just a moment. We'll check on him and then we've got to get back to the chopper and get chopping some hay. Right, Bob?
Well, we've got our replanting done and we are now over here checking on Jared. He's tending some hay out that we're going to bail here sometime this week. sucker here usually takes us about three hours to chop this real steep over there now the camera doesn't really do it any justice here but this is a rolling hills Gonna chop that piece up top here in a little while. There's just a couple three acres up there, it's already merged. We're gonna head on home now and grab the chopper. So we will be doing some bailing this week, and this is gonna be just a short little video here. So um well that's going to do her, I guess. Right, Bob? Yeah. Get home, grab the chopper, and finish up chopping. And then get the bunk covered. So, Well, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you at the next one. There will be some bailing footage here coming up this week.